Hello guys, Chris here and welcome back to another little video in this one my friends I'm gonna be testing the Radeon HD 4850 in 2021 This card released back in 2008 and of course we can't really test 2021 games on it But we can still check out older titles that run well on it to see if you can still have fun with a GPU like this This cost me 10 euros here in Portugal on a local deal and it has 512 megabytes of VRAM. I also really like the design of it. It's a single slot card. It gets really, really loud under load, especially because of this tiny little fan right here. It's It makes quite an annoying sound, to be honest. The 4850 was a $200 GPU back when it released. It consumes 110 watts of power and it was like a high-end-ish card from AMD. So I'm expecting a lot of games that we're testing today to be playable since they're older titles and I think it's also a little bit better than the GT710 so that's that's always a plus right <laughs> also I'm not sure if you noticed that thing over there like that PC it's beautiful my friends it's gonna be next Sunday's video I got it for a pretty good deal but for now 4850 in 2021 Let's test it out, shall we? And here we go, we're now in the desktop, drivers are installed and everything, of course. By the way, I had to install the 4870 drivers in this card because there are no 4850 drivers. It's super weird, I don't know. But anyway, these are the clock speeds. You can see all of its specs here in Tech Power Up GPU Z, GDR3 memory, by the way, 512 megabytes, as I told you, 2008. And we're running it, of course, with the Ryzen 9 5900X and 32 gigabytes of RAM to get the most out of it. So let's get into the first game. First up we got Battlefield 3 at 720p resolution using low settings and I first played this game on PS3 with locked 30 FPS at the same settings I believe. And of course the PS3 had a massive disadvantage compared to PC. Well the, the consoles always have a massive disadvantage but they're, they're consoles right? <laughs> Gosh, so many explosions, so much chaos. I can't, I, I gotta go around. But yeah, the massive disadvantage with the PS3 was that the servers were capped to 24 players. And of course on PC you have 64 players in Battlefield 3. So that's a huge difference, of course. So that's why I bought the game again in 2012 when I bought a, a laptop. And I played this game a lot back then with the GT 630M. And let me tell you guys, uh, this is a better experience than that. I would love to have had a, a, an HD 4850 back in 2012, that's for sure. Mortar, seriously, are you kidding me? And you know what? You can still have a lot of fun here in Battlefield 3. It's an amazing game uh, and it, it delivers a really nice experience multiplayer-wise, you know. So I definitely recommend this one if you have a 4850 or if you're thinking of buying one. Not sure if I will actually recommend that, but uh, if you're in a really tight budget, this experience is actually decent. Oh, the flank is real, boys. The flank is real. Only one of them here, though. Damn it. Ah, come on. Okay, okay, got another one. Oh, not for a bit. Well, I also killed him from behind, so fair enough. Next up, we got GTA 5, and we're playing this one at the 720p resolution. And I know it says that we have 16 gigabytes of video memory right there, but that's just because whenever you have less than one gig of VRAM, the game starts utilizing system RAM as VRAM to make up for it. Here we go. This is actually pretty promising. Look at those frames. Let's grab our beautiful, amazing new car and start counting our FPS here. So it does stutter quite a bit, as you can see there in the frame time graph. That's just because we only have uh, 512 megabytes of VRAM, of course. And this game stutters whenever you go over the VRAM limit. So it's pretty bad in that regard. But I mean, for somebody that doesn't know any better, this might be playable. But yeah, with all of those stuttering issues, I don't feel like it's a good experience. Why would you dive in front of the car? Do I have a new paint job? I guess so. Yep. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, that's really bad. If it wasn't for the stuttering, we'd see like 30 plus FPS all of the time. But let's do the most important thing in this video. Visit our boy Jack. How's it going, friend? Talk to me, buddy. 
Come on. There we go. There we go. I knew you'd talk to me. Uh, you usually like the higher resolutions better, but you know, this is, this is not too bad, is it, Jack? This is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. We're playing at 720p using the lowest settings once again. And look at that. It seems like it is actually quite playable. It of course, there are way better experience to be had here in Black Flag, but... This is not too bad. I'm not complaining. This card was already six years old um, <laughs> when this game came out. It has a few stutters here and there. That's why our warm scent lows are at 25. But I mean, considering it's such an old card and it can play Black Flag, I, I'm happy with these results. Get over here, boy. Yeah, the stutters are a little bit annoying, not gonna lie, but still playable. It's just not that enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still just way too much. Here we go. You could have grabbed his leg or something there. Oh, God. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Oh, I lost him. No, where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, I guess whenever you have to load a few more things, it stutters horribly. Uh, because of the VRAM, possibly. It doesn't seem to be maxed out, but maybe it is. Sometimes it's not at, like, 512 megabytes, and that doesn't mean that it's not maxed out. So... It's more playable than GTA 5, that's for sure, but the 1% lows are pretty rough still, okay? Alright guys, we're playing CSGO now at 720p using the low settings, as you can see. What the actual... What is happening? Have they fixed CSGO? I think they did! We're getting good FPS in CSGO. I came into this thinking that this would be a stuttery mess, because CSGO used to be very, very broken, but... It isn't now. It's actually the first time that I've seen a developer breaking a game completely in terms of optimization and then fixing it. Usually they just stay broken forever, but not here. All right, this is great. Oh gosh, okay. There's a little bit of input lag. I can definitely feel it. Not sure why, because these FPS are pretty damn good. Oh, oh I need to reload. Okay. What are you doing camping there? <laughs> Yeah, although it, it has that bit of input lag, I am definitely not complaining. This is a 13-year-old GPU, and you can still play CSGO. Couple of stutters here and there at times, uh, but that's normal. I think that also happens in higher-end systems. Ah, I gotta reload my weapon. I'm forgetting to do so. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I can still play well like this, guys. I'm really happy to see that CSGO has come back to form. You know, it now runs on pretty much everything once again. Time for Minecraft Java Edition. We're actually running it with the 1.16.5 version of the game because the latest one is actually kind of broken in terms of optimization uh, using high settings, as you can see, at 1080p resolution. And I think... We might try out some shaders as well. I don't know. That's probably not a good idea, but let's try Silver's Light. Maybe we can't really use shaders with this one. It's not doing anything. <laughs> All right, so it works without the shaders enabled. And look at that, guys. Now, we are running it with Optifine enabled. Uh, this is crazy. If you want to play Minecraft for really cheap, I guess a 4850 or something similar to that, actually, you can play this game probably with a GeForce 210, which is a lot slower than this. So, uh, yeah, it's Minecraft. If you don't use shaders, it's gonna run perfectly, as you can see. I've never seen this before. What, what are you doing? Is that a witch? I think so, right? Oh, there's a little jack and everything. Hello, buddy. Let's see how it handles Dota 2 now. We're playing it at the 1080p resolution using uh, low settings, of course, 100% render scale and DirectX 9. All right, this is actually pretty good. Wasn't expecting that once again. I thought it would stutter as well because it's a Valve game. Come on, everyone. Don't be shy. Get into a team fight. Come on. All right, some effects in the screen. Okay. Is it... Gonna be a team fight, I think so. Look at that, so many effects dropping into the 20s. If you want a more stable experience, you should probably play this at 720p. But of course, if it's running like this at 1080p, 
720p is not going to be a problem for the 4850. Look at that, 20 FPS because of those Invoker meteorites. Over here it's getting 90s because nothing is happening. There are a few artifacts here and there, as you could see there. Um, but yeah, it's playable. I, I got friends with like 5,000 hours in Dota 2 that play this game with drops below 30 sometimes. So you can play like this. Okay, guys, so this is Rust right now. GPU usage is at 0% for some reason. <laughs> it's so weird. Clock speeds are also not maxed out. VRAM is at 90 megabytes. I don't know what's happening here. I couldn't even change the resolution without setting this to windowed mode. Um, so Rust is kind of broken on this card for sure. We're playing at 800 by 600, lowest settings of course, half resolution of that, so that means that we're actually playing at 300p. Um, but yeah, <laughs> even though we are running at these settings, it's not a very enjoyable experience, is it? Like, the graphics look really bad like this, and it gets less than 20 FPS. Heck, less than 15 FPS. Time for a classic. This is Left 4 Dead 2. We're playing at 1080p resolution using these settings. Holy, look at that, guys. <laughs> Those are some insane FPS. Oh yes, and I chose this level right here because we got some bushes, and bushes are usually intensive in Left 4 Dead, but um, I guess not for the 4850. This was a pretty good GPU back in 2008, and it shows right here. Left 4 Dead 2 came out in 2009, and it's, it's running perfectly on high settings, even at 1080p resolution. I guess if you want a pretty decent experience in Left 4 Dead 2 and you want to play games from this era, the 4850 might not be a bad choice. And to think that back in 2009 I was playing this game on a very low-end laptop uh, at like 25 FPS, low settings. Yeah, <laughs> again, I wish I had a card like this back then. Far Cry 3, we're playing this one at 720p using the DirectX 9 API and the low settings. I might be underestimating this card a little bit by setting it too low. Yep, okay, so we're getting 80s here. Maybe outside it's gonna get closer to 60. Yeah, okay. I guess this is gonna be a smooth 60 plus fps experience most of the time it's gonna drop here and there obviously in explosions especially but pretty good isn't it zero stutters as well vram is at 200 megabytes what the hell <laughs> 2012 game by the way i also loved playing this game and i played it with way less fps than these on my 630m laptop i still played it twice and had a ton of fun uh, I, I killed myself. I just wanted to see an explosion. <laughs> so, right, 59 there, completely unplayable. I'm just kidding. It's, it's a really good experience, obviously. Another classic, Team Fortress 2. We're playing this one at 1080p using the recommended settings, which are actually the high settings. And I think this is going to be really easy for the 4850. Yeah, look at that. It's... It's perfect in these old Valve games. Left 4 Dead 2 was the same thing. This is even less demanding than that. Uh, I can feel like a little bit of skipping. Maybe it's just the sensitivity being way too slow. Uh, because it is right now. But yeah, I can see some frame skipping here. Although we're getting extremely high FPS, of course. <laughs> Get wrecked, boy. Get wrecked. There's a soldier. Soldier. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Nice. <laughs> you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Increase the sensitivity a little bit. See if it gets better. Yeah, it definitely does. Okay. Yeah, it I can't really feel those frame skips anymore. It, it might have been the sensitivity. I don't get it. <laughs> anyway, just increase your sensitivity a little bit if you feel some frame skipping. Um, and it's going to be totally fine. 
Like, we're getting 200s on average. That's insane. And for the Call of Duty title of the day, we got Black Ops 2, of course. We're playing it at 1920 by 1080 using low settings. This game released in 2012, so this GPU was already four years old. It can play it at 1080p just fine, as you can see. This card impresses me in, in some games, for sure. What the hell? That's crazy, guys. Now, I'm playing with bots because I can't really find any online matches and I haven't installed Plutonium yet. Uh, because, well, I, I don't know why. <laughs> but this still gives you a great idea of what to expect. All right, and it's just amazing, guys. This is... What are you doing? <laughs> These bots, they are on regular. Why are they so bad? They look like they're on recruit. These bots are so weird. <laughs> what the actual heck? Okay, all right. Come, what the hell? They were fighting against each other. Two shieldy boys. Nice. And finally, for the last game, we got the legendary Half-Life 2. We're playing at 1080p using high settings. All right, this is nice, guys. This is an intensive area, kind of, at least at the beginning of the game. Um, and we're getting 96, 100, pretty good. If you look back, of course, you get 300 almost. That's crazy. <laughs> What's happening here, people? What, what just happened? Oh, 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 dot, 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 dot. I, I can't bunny hop. You can't, buddy. So run away. Yeah, this game was ahead of its time for sure. Can I throw this? Like, <laughs> all right, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep on moving here. Oh, the loading, of course, of course. It will wreck our 1% low, so I'm going to stop the counting system there. This is like Battlefield 3. You keep jumping while you walk so you can run faster. Now we got these things. Beautiful stuff. Uh, don't like that too much. Go away. Go away. Go away. I can't. I can't do this. Okay, let's go this way. Yes, yeah, you can see, guys. This is no problem whatsoever for our HD 4850. This is really good. People are trying to shoot at me. You're missing everything, buddy. Come on. I'm. I'm standing still for you. You can do it. I believe. I believe in you. Ah, oh, thank you. See, you're not that bad of a shot. And it's conclusion time, my friends. And do I recommend the HD 4850 512 megabyte GPU in 2021? Well, no, obviously. <laughs> it can't really play any of the recent titles. It stutters in a lot of games as well. I was impressed with CSGO's performance, by the way, and a couple of other games like Black Ops 2. So if all you want is to play old games like that, and if you can find one of these for like 5 to 10 bucks, I think... It's worth it at those prices. But remember, it's pretty old. It consumes 110 watts of power. If you get a single slot card, it's gonna be annoying as heck. It's pretty outdated. That's been it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Keep tuned in for that beast that's coming next week. And I'll catch you in the next one very soon. As always, love you all. Bye bye